Welcome to part two of People Analytics in Excel Employee Attrition. In this video, I'll be setting up my analytics environment in Microsoft Excel 365 and downloading the data set I need to do this project. So although this is the second video of this series, it is going to be the first step in the awesome framework that I tackled during it. In this step, we obtain the data we need to do our analysis. Now, depending on the type of project I'm doing, this can be a very difficult step or a very simple one. For this project, we'll be simply downloading a .csv file from a website. Now, we're also going to have to download an add-in for Excel that's going to give us the specific tools that we need to do this work. Uh, Excel does not natively come with the type of regression software that we need in order to do what we want to do in this project. So, in order to actually do the proper type of analysis when we get to the modeling step, we're going to have to add an add-in. But first of all, let's go ahead and download our data set. So I'm going to open my browser. I'm going to come to kaggle.com slash datasets. Now, Kaggle is a machine learning competition site where very high-end machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms are deployed to solve extremely difficult problems for very large amounts of money. Now, I've seen prize pots on here worth well over a million dollars. And if you're interested in what the state-of-the-art problems in the data world look like today, you can come to the competitions tab here and just kind of explore what's what's going on out there in the world today. Uh, what we're interested, though, in is the datasets tab. So you can see I'm at kaggle.com slash datasets. And we have a whole list of datasets here that people, 23,000 of them, as of today, the 11th of November, 2019, that people have downloaded are uploaded to the site and made available for public use. And it's a wonderful resource to learn more about or to find problems to solve and to sharpen your analytical skills. So I'm going to just search for IBM HR Analytics. And I'm going to get a bunch of results that are actually all the same file that I'm looking for. So IBM has generously provided this synthetic data set, meaning it's all simulated. So we're not invading anybody's privacy when we dig around in this data set. There's no personally identifiable information in here because it's all synthetic or simulated. Now, however, it's an excellent product. It's fairly realistic and it enables people to really sharpen their people analytics skills in a safe environment. So a lot of people have taken off the IBM site and uploaded it onto Kaggle. Uh, any one of these that you pick is perfectly fine. I'm going to take this top item here. So I'm just going to click on it. It's going to take me to a page where I can download the actual data set itself. Now regardless of whether you're signed into Kaggle or not, you'll be able to get here. When you click on download, if you don't have an account, Kaggle is going to prompt you to register for one. Go ahead and do that. It's free. Uh, it's another Google product. Product. Just go ahead and register for it. Uh, and then, you know, if you're so interested, you can do a lot of courses and there's very interesting stuff on here. Alright, so I'm going to hit download. You can see that it's downloading. When it's complete, I'm going to right-click, select Show in Folder, and I've got my zipped file right here. So the little zipper on it means it's zipped. That just means it's a compressed file format, so it takes up less space. So I'm going to right-click and select Cut, and now I'm going to come to the directory on my desktop where I want to actually store this data. I'm going to right-click and paste, and there we go. Now to extract the file from the zip drive, I'm going to right click, select extract all, click extract. I'm going to go ahead and close this. So now what you see is I have two files here with the same name, but one's a zip file and the other one's not. So this is the extracted file. So I'm going to take my zipped file, which I still have selected. I'm going to use a delete key on my keyboard to get rid of it. And now when I open this, I can see I have my data set. And I'm going to go ahead and rename it because I don't particularly care for this crazy computer generated deal they got here. So I'm just going to go IBM HR data set because that seems perfectly descriptive enough. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. All right. Next step before we actually open that file in Excel and start looking at it is I want to get this add in that I need to do this analysis down the road. So I'm going to come to realstatistics.com that's real-statistics.com 
Uh, this is an excellent free add-in developed by a highly experienced PhD holding statistician who has developed this resource, I believe, primarily to help doctoral candidates actually do the analysis that they need to do for their dissertations. But he keeps it updated. If I come to the blog page here, I can see that he released his last update to it, version 6.6.2, on October 22nd. Now, as I'm recording this, it's November 11th. That means that he released an updated version of this 20 days ago. Now, that's that's fantastic. I'm going to tell you that if you are ever tempted to download software and you see that it's not being regularly updated, that should fill you with concern. So software that's being regularly updated is a very good sign. And this individual right here who created it is somebody who knows what he's doing. So this is an excellent product. Uh, and if you want to learn more about some of the stuff that we're going to do later on, like for instance, if you want to learn more about logistic regression when we get to it, you can simply go to that page here and then you can review a number of different topics where he uh, explores some of these some of these things that you're going to want to know to understand it. And he gets, I mean, he gets into the nitty gritty of the math, so if that's your thing, that's great. If not, you don't need to do it. All right, so... I'm going to go to free download, select resource pack. Now there's actually several different versions of the software depending on the version of Excel you're using. So if you're using Excel 2010 through 365, that's one version. If you're using 2007, you're going to want to click here to go to the appropriate download for that. If you're using the 2003 or prior version, you want to click here. And if you're using Excel on a Mac, you're going to want to click here. Now I'm using Excel 365 on Windows, so I'm going to come down here and click the appropriate free download button and you can see that it is downloading as promised I'm gonna right click show in folder and there it is I just want to make a quick note about this see that the file extension here is .xlam that is a file extension for an Excel add-in so you can see over here under type it says Microsoft Excel add-in so that's what you've just downloaded no surprise there right all right, something else I want you to notice is that you are on whatever computer you're on in the C drive and under users, you are whatever this is. So for me, it's coach. All right, and then you're in a downloads folder. So that's important because you need to remember what this is. So whatever this says right here for you, I need you to jot that down. Okay. All right, so I'm going to make a copy of this. I'm going to minimize it. Now I'm back here on my real statistics free download page. I'm going to scroll down a little ways and you're going to see down here uh, just just a little ways down the page you can see that he has this file path here. Now this is his suggested spot where you should save this XLAM files. Alright, so I'm going to highlight that and copy it. I'm going to come down here to my search bar, right click and paste. All right, no results found because the username here is incorrect, right? This is just a placeholder. So I'm going to type coach. You type whatever that word is you jotted down earlier, and you should have this come up showing you exactly where you need to go. So I'm going to select that, and it's going to take me where I want to be. I'm, all right, and this is where I want to put my file, okay? So I'm just going to move this over to the side here. I'm going to open up my downloads folder. All right, now I can just drag and drop this guy right in there and I'm in business okay so I'm going to close both of these I no longer need them I'm gonna close my browser I no longer need that alright and now I'm gonna go back to the file where I stored my data set so wherever that is where you're keeping all your products for this project alright so I'm gonna go ahead and double click on it and because I'm in Microsoft uh, in Microsoft environment this CSV file is gonna automatically be opened by Excel so this should look familiar to you if you watch the first video in a series. You can see here we have our attrition column. This is kind of our target, right? This shows whether or not the employee of interest left or stayed. And we've got a whole bunch of other columns with other information like age, how often they travel, their daily rate, what department they're in, how far they are from home, all kinds of good stuff. And there's quite a few fields here. Lots of good stuff that we'll hopefully be able to use to make a pretty accurate model of employee behavior. Now the last thing that we got to do before we wrap this up is we've got to ensure that the add-in that we just added in 
is actually enabled. Okay, so up here in 365, I have this add-ins tab. I'm going to click on that, and you'll notice there's nothing on here. All right, so I put the add-in in the right folder, uh, but it's not showing up, so that's a problem. I need it to show up. Now, if I come to the data tab, there's already a couple add-ins enabled by default here in Excel 365. I have solver and data analysis. These both come with the original installation of Excel. All right, to activate or deactivate add-ins, I'm going to come to File, Options, Add-ins, and now I can see here I have active application add-ins. I have a list of those, which curiously includes Xreal stats, even though it's not showing up in my add-ins tab. So uh, we're going to deactivate it and reactivate it, and then it'll show up. So something we should talk about real quick here is that we also see this solver add-in here, which you also see in my data tab. Now, solver is a dependency of Xreal stats. And what I mean when I say that is that Xreal stats uses solver for some of its functions. So you need solver to be activated in Excel in order to use all the functionality within Xreal stats. So what we're going to do is I'm going to deactivate and then reactivate both of them just so you can see what it looks like. Now I want you to notice under type, both of these are Excel add-ins. So in order to manage them, I come down here to manage and I have a drop down here where I can select the type of add-ins I want to manage. I want to select Excel add-ins, which is already selected, so I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to hit go. And now the list of Excel add-ins that are available shows up here. So I've got five of them. Four are activated. One, the Euro currency tools is not. Now I'm going to uncheck salt solver and xreal stats and i'm going to hit ok and now my computer is going to spin for a minute and think you're going to see up here in a moment that solver is going to disappear so just keep an eye on that and solver is gone and still on the add-ins tab here we got nothing all right all right so now i'm going to do the same thing to activate them so i'm going to come to file options add-ins Again, these are both Excel add-ins, so I want to manage Excel add-ins. I'm going to hit Go. I'm going to select Solver and Xreal stats. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to wait. It's going to think. You're going to see Solver pop right back up here in a moment. When it's done, which should be any minute now. There it is. All right, there's Solver. And now when I come to add-ins, over here on the left, under Menu Commands, I have Real Statistics. That's the add-in that we just installed. And now when I click the drop down and select data analysis tools, it opens up. Now we're not going to get into too much detail here, but I just want to point out there's a huge amount of functionality in this add-in. It's really quite impressive. Ton of different type of uh, descriptive statistical methods, a whole bunch of different kinds of regression, which gets me excited because regressions are wonderful for a hundred different reasons. And there's, you could do practically everything with a regression. Analysis of variance tools, or ANOVA. Some time series analysis, which is really, really interesting stuff, but we won't take the time to talk about it right now. Uh, some multivariate analysis tools, some miscellaneous stuff, some correlation and reliability tests. Good stuff. What we're going to be using uh, when we get to the modeling step of this project is binary logistic regression. So I have that option right here, binary logistic and probit regression. So I select that and hit OK. It's going to bring me to the menu where when we get to that step, I can select my data. I could talk about what kind of regression I want to run, what kind of solver I want to use, what my alpha is going to be, all kinds of good stuff. How many iterations I want, where I want the output data. And we'll talk about all that stuff when the time comes. Uh, but this is just kind of as a preview, this is what we're going to be using. So I'm going to select OK. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to close this because I'm not ready yet. All right, I'm going to save this file, and I'm going to go ahead and close it. And that is that. So the next step is going to be in the awesome framework is going to be scrubbing the data. So in the next video, we're going to take a systematic approach to looking through all of the columns that we have, looking at missing values, at outliers, at whether the data even makes any sense, and we're going to make some educated guesses about what we need to do and, and prepare this data for the follow-on expiration and modeling. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video and wish you happy learning.